What's up guys? Last time we were playing Empires of the Growth and today, guess what? We're playing Empires of the Undergrowth. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the story here. Um I just wanted to thank you guys for all the attention that you've been getting. Um the Mad Scientist episode actually took me five attempts to upload for some reason. And so I'm glad that that's paying off. We can go see what this new Formicarium looks like. Well, I know what it looks like, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Um, new floor. I have a cool little pyramid right there. A gate looking thing. Some plants. An overall nice look. Um, we got these guys to level 3 and completed the gateway mission. We completed test 2. Um, but I hope you guys are going to enjoy. So let's go ahead and do 3.1, the harvest. Colonies in close proximity create competition for leaves and ultimately survival. Taunt or stun? What's the difference? Majors taunt enemies to attack them. At level 3 on low health will gain very high resistance for 4 seconds. Like stun would be better. All right. This young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple mm. meal for many underground opportunists, but for now at least, they will go ignored. This budding Atacephalotis leaf cutter colony has only one viable source of food, and it must be collected above ground. Ah uh, yes, I remember this is a very weird game style thing. Oh, I forgot how big these ants are. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess we just have to go get leaves straight away. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. Right. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. Uh -oh. Over time, waste builds up in the fungus gardens, and if left unchecked, it can attract oh, nice. necrotrophic cool. parasites. To deal with this problem, Atacephalotis dig out subterranean waste heaps, preferably as oh, far as possible cost. from the healthy nursery 20, chambers. 50 and 80. Dang. 150. Whoa. The ants' activities outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched. Oh, these guys already have the big boys. Okay. 
This colony must remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. Alright, ooh, new spider. Oh, these stores are full. No, they're not. You liar. These cost five. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at this big boy. This is going pretty slow. Oh, uh oh. The most accessible leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. However, another ant colony has already laid oh, claim wow. to them. Okay, they have the close big proximity of these house. nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. That's a big queen. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I just realized how big that queen is. Ginormous. Like, no offense, but dang. Go, we got some more food coming in. So, this was the only have to worry about. And gosh, they are kicking your butt right now. this off.
can't believe they say 80. That's insane. All right. We're gonna end up with 12 workers. As in the this sun group. sets below the horizon and the thick rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight, the predators of the night begin to emerge. Are they bad predators of the night? Do I need to go to no combat? Before I take all of that. I'm gonna build up a chamber right here. Alright. Well, I've always wanted to keep ants. I might try it sometime. Oh, look at this dick that I've got boop. first one. I think I did the wrong choice getting this guy first, because for one of these we could have gotten three workers that have been getting a lot more food. Doesn't have that this here is getting like the most minuscule amount that he can get. Okay, what's this guy getting? Does he have mostly workers getting everything? Okay, yeah, he does have mostly workers, it looks like. Hmm. Might need to take a page out of his book and. Focus more on my workers after I get this pot bag a little filled up. Let's go, boys. Come on. Where do these boys go? Gosh, those are some big ants. Hmm. 
These rove beetle larvae are distant relatives of the European Devil's Coach Horse. Despite a few million years of separation, they That's share fair. the same carnivorous appetite, razor sharp pincers, and most importantly, a fearsome fight. But this guy's form. just walking on top of them. Bro has no fear. Hmm. All right, I think this episode is gonna be pretty long, actually. Which, like, was not my intention to start off with. So I'm trying to keep this episode short, but what can you do? Colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new bro. Bro, what are you talking about? I just want some speedy boys. Taking their butt right now, but we can come back. You can come back. Hopefully. Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of the night scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. For yeah, the ants, really however, the, the objectives place. of the day remain unchanged locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. Let's go ahead and get our first big boy. A young velvet worm, Oroperipatis ecuadoriensis, has been uncovered by the ants. These ancient mysterious predators are masters of ambush. They creep toward their unwitting victims silently on soft, hollow legs. Once in range, they squirt oscillating streams of slime, forming a wide net that entraps their prey. Alright. First big boy going down. Right, let's see this boy. have raised their first major ant. Its swollen head is filled with muscle to power its crushing jaws. Few stand against it in combat and escape unscathed. This champion warrior will make a fine addition to the colony. A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casviri de Purpurius, has subdued yes. one of the workers. This expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, allowing it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. Alright. 
These guys are just masked. Leafcutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two Atta colonies joust for territory, Odontomachus Bowery trap jaws roam the clearing. Mm -hmm. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. That's kind of they mean. use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow. And why you guys are here? All that fun stuff. The workers have done all they can to improve this refuse dump. Okay. Mm -hmm. Honestly, music is an absolute banger. If I do say so myself. Sorry, not quite yet. Keep going there for now. Ooh. All right, we're gonna do some more big hands. Okay, how do I get this? Yeah, this must fight. Cutters, okay. You can reuse animals. Any kind of media already staple harvesters of the colony. Nice. Okay, so yeah, these guys are what I want to harvest. So I'm actually going to build another part of this before I move on to building up these. Now these little ants bring like a whole lot more life to the um, nest. Okay. 
Let's see how quickly we strip this guy. Okay, when I upgrade these, once one assessment spent remains, will need to be removed before it can be cultivated free minimum. Free minimum will take care of waste from the nurseries and place in a refuse chamber if you have built one, or you will decay over time. Most times you see your harvestable, so you can place a marker nearby, okay? Refuse during the refuse chamber will decompose slowly, freeing up space for more refuse chambers, will reduce neighboring tiles, upgrade points, and pull them away from nurseries. Miners are workers, uh, the leaf cutter colony, they are smaller though not the, s the smallest. And other colony members can only carry small leaf drums and see. Okay. Ants passing through refuge chambers may suffer an illness. Yeah. Every brew tile you build will hatch a minimum for free. The elder nest is part in keeping these things smoothly. The leaves need to be stored in the tank by the minimums. The brew chambers, the result of waste then most chambers. Attacking the enemy colony trails may push them back temporarily. If you're finding refuse backlog in your nursery store, leaf backlog in your nursery store, so you need more minnows. The cheapest way to get this is to more, okay? Doors of the colony, the infirmators are best put to defense plans, and we need the charge into battle, majors tower over the other camps. Enter it, generate threat while they fight, drawing the attention of any attackers away from your smaller peers. Jumping squares will avoid combat, and the trap shell ends, okay. Right there. An ant has fallen prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long, slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter. And when threatened, mm. it can release strong smelling odors to deter Looks other like predators. Going A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away. Mm. These guys go. The ants have been spotted by a small velvet worm outside the nest. Battle has begun. All right, let's see how much damage this guy does. Ooh. Overwhelmed by the defensive leaf cutter forces, the harvestman decides to make a swift exit. Okay. Let's build some more weapons. Night falls, and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate okay. end. Gosh, 
very good at harvesting. struggling to keep up here. starting to lap us. Alright, I'm gonna save up a bit. The battle has begun. These guys are not cheap. The ants must defend themselves. Oh, that's a big worm. Yeah. Ooh, that's a big rabbit worm. will fight to the death. <sighs> Sucks because fighting has like no benefit for us really. Alright, that's gonna be a nice big boost right here. How long is it going to take for us to process that? Okay, I'm going to start making on this one. Getting up here will be nice. I think we're going to have to go disrupt their supply lines. Let's go draw their resources to make them extend their lines a bit.
The ants must fight. Yeah. Take out this entire tree. Just real fast, guys. This shouldn't take too long. A Paracanthus varius bush cricket has spotted the ants. Its thorax and appendages are Ooh. adorned with sharp protruding spikes, offering 360 degrees of protection and turning its substantial forelegs into a pair of deadly flails. This spiny devil will not easily be deterred. Maybe not. The sun Dark rises over the treetops above. The diurnal jungle invertebrates emerge once again to replace their nighttime counterparts. The ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked so for the like, harvest. Do the larvae eat the plant material? And that's what we use. I think that might be it. I regret putting my food while they're down here. Should put it like up here. So I'm taking a draw. The ants up. must defend themselves. Oh, I'm gonna build another chamber right here. starting to lose. I should have pushed them back. Alright guys, I'm going to have to be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I had to go run some errands, but <sighs> back to it. So we have our ants going. We're about to engage in some combat, it looks like. Hopefully. Hopefully. We're gonna drive those guys off. But the ants must defend themselves. It does look like I'm gonna need some more of these guys. The leaf cutters will generally not attack unless provoked, but today there's too much at stake. Only a strong show of force will deter the opposing colony. Alright guys, hurry, 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 hurry. quickly now.
The opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back, and in greater numbers. Alright, once I see that they start from this way. Ooh. Go over here. Get out of here. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, no, that's definitely some stronger numbers. A territorial dispute has arisen between the Atta colonies. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. workers have done all they can to improve this refuse dump. As the leaves nearby uh -oh. are depleted and the superior hillside at a colony cuts off access no, to new pastures, they lost, the nest guys. falls into ruin. The ants grow weak, the gardens rot, and the queen is left to starve. Her reign has ended. hard guys I might have to go look up the best way to go about doing that well I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like and subscribe to your boy lucky Jaeger here and um, I'll be signing off so peace out